Hey guys, um, with the recent shooting this past week, the terrible one in Florida, we're reminded that the most important model or mentor your child's ever going to have is what they see at home. Everything comes back to the home. And I have a lot of parents reaching out to me and saying, Mary Jo, how do you mentor? What's important to mentor? I mean, I know we're supposed to talk to our partner and be nice, but what else is there? I think there's actually a list, and I think this list can really help you. If you start maybe just making notes, and you may not be able to do all of them today, but if you just practice, you know, practice is what it's about. And one of the things on the list is be open with your mistakes in your life. Talk to your kids that it's okay to make mistakes. Correct them when they do something wrong, discipline them, but also admit that you make mistakes too. And no matter what, that you're, if they're used to learn, to continue to learn, they're a good thing. Include kids in your family discussions. I think, you know, more and more we try to take our discussions to another room. And what this is doing inadvertently is teaching your kids that they're not part of the bigger system. Some things you should keep private. Money matters, you know, some kind of a, um, a fair situation. You should keep that private from your kids. That's an adult topic. But for sure, if it's something the family can work together and brainstorm together, I think those are important things to share with your kids. Practice what you pe preach. Parents, if you're making promises and you don't follow through, it doesn't matter if it's not with your child, if it's with each other, if it's with friends, your kid is seeing that and they will remember it and they will do what you do. Never cut down your body. This is really important because I've told you in the past, although it may be on a, on a video you didn't see, that what you say about your body, and especially when it's negative, it becomes your child's inner voice. And when they grow up, it will be their truth. They hear it, it's ingrained in their brains, and they never forget it. Show an, show an excitement and enjoyment in education. When kids see that parents really get into being educated, they understand the importance, kids take on a better attitude. And speaking of attitude, Keep a positive attitude, especially with others. Don't exclude. Don't judge. Anything that involves excluding some people um, from your family or there's a certain amount of undesirables or whatever, that's going to turn out to be a bad thing for your child, mostly because you're trying to teach your child that they're a child of God, just like you are and that everybody is lovable. Although there are people that do bad things, it doesn't mean they're bad all the way through. They may be misunderstood, they may be mentally ill, and it's important to, to explain some of those things to your kids, but at the same time, don't judge them as being bad or you know, like we should eliminate them from society. And I think showing kindness, we can never talk too much about kindness, show it, to your partner, show it to each other, show it to your friends, show it to your neighbors. When kids see you practicing kindness, let me tell you, they get the importance of it and they will carry that into the school system. They will not be the bullies. They will be the ones that stand up to the bully and make a difference. And lastly, don't forget, teach your kids respect. How do you do that? You respect each other. You don't call each other idiots or tease each other at home. You don't call each other names or make snide comments. You teach them respect when someone talks to them. They address them in the right way. They know manners. They know how to address you. When a teacher talks, they listen. When an authority talks, they listen. I know there was a whole era of when we told kids, oh, you don't have to listen to authority figures. That's gotten us nowhere. You do have to listen to authority figures. When you go to work in the real world, you got a boss and you better listen to them. So these are just my everyday tips I've tried to incorporate into my own family. I try to keep practicing them every day because my kids are gone now, but my hubby's there. And um, it's very important I continue to be a good mentor and person for him. So, and myself too. Have a fantastic day.